Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll explore the Raltio Data Loader, your UI for uploading CSV or JSON files directly to your tenant. From within the Raltio UI, I access the Data Loader by clicking on the Load Data icon at the top of the screen. This action will launch the Data Loader in a new window and will provide me with a wizard-like interface for loading the data. I will now click on the Load Data button to initiate the process, choosing either Entities or Relationships that I want to load, in my case, Entities. The next step is choosing the location of the file. Notice various options available to me. In my case, I'm choosing a file locally on my machine. I will select the file from the list, and this process now will continue. Clicking on the button will upload the file and we'll be able to move to the next step. This step being to either choose an existing mapping or create a new mapping. A mapping very simply is the association of the input attributes in your file to the Identity360 model. In my case, I'm choosing to create a new mapping, choosing the entity type and specifying that the first line contains the headers. Notice the headers at the top. Now, clicking on the slider icon on the right side opens the mapping associated with Identity360, showing me the attributes and crosswalks that exist. The first step is to associate a crosswalk. A crosswalk is really the linkage of the primary key in the file along with the source of the file to Reltio. In this case, I'm going to choose the website as my source of data and now I have to specify the primary key in this case the ID column clicking on the ID column and clicking in value associates these two together now I will perform the same action for the various attributes click on first name and last name etc each attribute within my file I can either search for that attribute or just scroll down and associate them together. And I'll repeat this process for all the attributes that are contained within my file itself. Note that I only have to do this mapping once. Once I've completed it, I can save the mapping for further reuse. Once it's saved, I can now move to the next step, clicking on continue. This will now bring me to the point of specifying a name for the load if I want. There's a default that I don't have to change. And now specifying whether I want to do a full update or only a partial update. And then specifying if I want to have a recurring load. Note if I'm loading locally from my file system, I can't do that. Clicking on continue brings me to a review point where if I want to make some changes, I can. Alternatively now, I can either choose to load this data or save it as a draft to come back to at a later point. I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of the Reltio Data Loader. In order to sign up for your free instance of Reltio Identity 360, please go to reltio.com slash reltio identity 360 free tier request.